So I've seen a lot of people wondering how you can create generic services in effect. I've had some people asking me that. And so for that, there are different solutions. The most common approach, or I should say the first approach everyone does, is to create wrappers for effect.tag, context.tag, or effect.service. I have a video comparing the three, by the way. But that's not the effectful way. And in fact, if you take a look at some of the packages that live within the official ecosystem of effect, do not follow that pattern. So what do I recommend instead? Well, for that, I recommend having identity functions that are the makers, and those are the ones that enforce a contract. Now, when I talk about a generic service, I'm referring to enforcing a contract or a shape of a service. I'm not referring to how existing the contract and the actual implementation in this maker. And I believe this follows the dependency inversion principle, which is depend on abstractions, not implementations. So I recommend doing that for services as well. So for that, it's very, very straightforward. Let's say we want to create a generic helper for repositories. So the basic CRUD operations, get, create, update, and delete. So for that, we can say make repository and we have a ton of generics, each one pertaining to each operation of the service. So I start with SE and SR. So the service errors and the service requirements, and that is for the maker itself. So notice how this identity function basically takes in an effect that must succeed with the shape of the service. And well, we all know that in effect, since you're working with layers and whatnot, well, you can have errors while constructing a service, just as you can require things when constructing a service. So that's why I have these two generics here. But notice how the success channel is ultimately the one that defines and enforces the contract. So for these, I have these four operations. So I have A1, E1, and R1, and the same for create. So A2, E2, R2, and so on and so forth. Now, obviously, you can restrict these to extend, I don't know, a specific format, a specific shape, maybe an object or shouldn't extend an object. Well, that depends entirely on your services. But the idea is to handle everything via generics, because if you were to explicitly type the errors and the requirements, you could potentially be lying to consumers. But I'll create a video on that soon enough. And finally, after defining all of these functions, let's say we want to allow the consumer to expand on it. So we want to just enforce that, hey, we need these four operations, but well, you can add whatever you want. So maybe an absurd or a stream of changes, whatever you want. Well, for that, I have this T extra which is simply a record string comma anything and everything via generic. So again, if we were to, in the actual implementation, define an absurd, then the consumer can access that. But this obviously ultimately depends on how strict you want your contracts to be. Some people might prefer not allowing the constructor to expand on the initial shape however it wants. So maybe this is not for you. But well, you can play around with it and see what works for you. And that's it. With this, we can simply use effect.service. And then we can say effect, make a repository. We can pass in any effect. So a generator, a synchronous effect, whatever, as long as it is an effect. And then here you can get the database. So notice a dependency on the constructor. And then here we can do whatever we want. And then we need to pass in the core operations that make repository requires. So if I were to remove the lead, notice how we get a type error here. And well, you can do whatever you want here. And with this, now we can access the user repository. We can do a get operation. Notice how it succeeds with anything, doesn't fail with anything, and doesn't require anything. So everything is correctly typed. And then we can just provide the layer. 
and as you can see the layer does not require anything because we're providing it here if i were to remove this then you will see that we require database and again because default requires database so everything is correctly propagated and this is it this is what i recommend you to do and as i said this is the pattern that effect uses internally so i recommend following this pattern too makes it easier to reason about in my opinion and there is no need to try to patch and create a wrapper for effect.service or effect.tag or whatever Anyway, this wraps up the video. Just a heads up, I'll be releasing a practical course on effect. It's taking a little bit longer than I anticipated, especially because I'm starting a new position this week, but I promise I'll release it soon enough. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want to see more content like this, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.